Although certain buildings are timeless in their appeal, the same can't be said for clothes. What was fashionable yesterday is often ugly today. And yet fashions undoubtedly travel in cycles. With this in mind, we wondered what clothes would look like in the year 2000. And who better to do a little crystal gazing than experts Harry and Monty Moss, who, with their chief theatrical designer, William Wynne, have come up with some ideas like this, the equivalent of our sports coat and flannels. The emphasis is on a loose neckline with zips on jacket and shirt, although in general, the points that stand out are the use of color and the military line of shoulders, trousers and boots, both borrowed from the splendid uniforms of the past. A more formal suit with once again the military influence, hence the hussar style cape and cuffs, collar and back adapted from the pre-war full general's dress uniform. Since we've been talking about uniforms, here's what the soldier of the year 2000 might wear for state occasions. The idea being that the various regiments might by then be amalgamated. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea for the war office to step in and claim it right now. We can think of one country who'd fit their troops out in it today. Anyway, to end, here's something for the girls, for our granddaughters to look forward to. A dinner gown in velvet and nylon. Adapted from a present-day Countess's coronation robe, it cuts right across the theory that women will gradually wear less and less. That remains to be seen, but it's certainly a lovely gown. It takes courage to go out on a limb and predict styles of the future, but Harry and Monty Moss have taken the plunge. One thing they won't predict, however, is what the well-dressed bathers of tomorrow are going to wear, if anything.